Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Peglin. We are back again with a new update. Still stuck on Crucible level 5. We are jumping in again for another run and seeing if we can get something going. Last time we did a very good bomb based build. This time what will we go for? Heal 2 every time the board is refreshed. Bombs detonate in a single hit. And post battle heal is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for the short fuse. Even if we don't go for a bomb build, detonating bombs in a single hit is super valuable. Of course, we'll speed things up a little bit. We know the true power of the shops this time as well, so we can try and focus on them a little bit too. Um, we did get the double, double fellas to start with. We're just going for as many coins as we can possibly get in this early game here. We don't really mind taking a little longer to do this as long as we can get some coins going. I want to try and get myself up to 50 on the first pull. So I'll try and do that. Um, we have these other two bombs here that are going to help us out like later on regardless. So there you go. That's one of them. Come on. More coins. Hey, okay. We're up to 52 coins already. That's really good going. And we'll try and get the rest here, but I don't know how it'll go. We got the other bomb. Okay. That's a very, very respectable amount of coins there. Um, I think we'll take this, uh, which is, of course, level. I don't know. Actually, maybe I'll go with a splat orb. Let's go with a splat orb and upgrade that bad boy. Try that out. I don't really go for splat orb very often, but it can be kind of fun. Let's go for the elite down here th this way. Um, oh, there is double shop back to back there. Let's, let's go this way, and I might go double shop to get two, two stones removed, if I can get enough money for it, that is. Um... Let the Dagov stink sink. Okay, let the stone stink sink. See, see now this this is just the whim of the gods here. I don't know if we'll get the way we want to go. Okay, we did. Nice. We did manage to remove uh one of our stones here, which is fantastic. I think. Yeah, we did we did, we did. Okay, so splat orb here. The splat orb basically just every few pegs that it hits, it turns into a bouncy one, which is durable and um, has a lot more oomph to it on the bounce. It's really, really nice, actually. It's really useful. Again, we're trying to get as much money as we possibly can in this. Which the bomb setting off isn't exactly helping with, but that's fine. In fact, I think it's okay. Um... There you go. I'm trying to avoid getting that bomb. That was not the bounce I was looking for there. Don't worry, we've got plenty of time to get more money on this stage here. Okay, there's a little bit more money. Get rid of both of those. Ah, oh, we hit the bomb, damn it. Okay, this is over. Unfortunately, didn't get this. I was hoping to get these four coins here, but that's still pretty good going. And we just continue without upgrading. And we go for yet another fight here. We want to be getting up to quite a lot more money than we're currently on with this next fight. I really don't want to be hitting the bombs too early here. Good money. One bomb there takes out one of the flower boys, which is good. A little bit more money there, up to 68. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. Hey, that's really good money. Bomb there is pretty bad. We're going to get the uh, finish here. 74 is pretty good, though. Um, we have the Extraordinary Weak Crit that cannot be modified, but high base damage. We'll continue as is. We'll make our way down to the shop here. Don't you dare. Okay, thank God it went to the shop there. I was I was on the edge of my seat there. My goodness. So we'll remove uh, one stone here. We can't afford any of the others of these. That one would have been really nice. I love the Unicorn Horn. Um, other than that, there's not really anything great there. And then again, we want to try and go shop here, but it's not guaranteed. We got it, though. And this should be able to give us another remove. Yes, indeed it can. So now our deck is incredibly thin, which is not a good thing right now. But later down the line, it'll be a great thing. Um, this is good, actually. Deal damage when reloading. That's actually fantastic for us. Um... I think we want to go this way. Yeah, da damage when reloading is great when we have such a thin uh, deck here. Start with a thingy. 
activates nearby pegs when detonated. <sighs> Grants each battle you start with plus one, so we get plus one damage to all orbs. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with a plus one damage. And then let's go for a fight. Just to try and gain more money, get more orbs, that sort of good stuff. So there's going to be a lot of reloading here, which is not a good thing. Because uh, it means that the, the enemy gets an extra turn. But on the flip side of it, it's a really good thing because... Get, oh, I was hoping to get that refresh, it's fine. Uh, on the flip side of things, it's going to be a really good thing because we've got that cheese wheel, which is going to deal um, 20 times our number of reloads and damage every time we reload. Pretty decent stuff here. Hoping we get the bomb there, but not quite. Get the bomb, come on, you know you want to. The splat orbs are doing good stuff though, I like that. There you go. Ooh, level 3 rubber orb there. I'd love to grab that right now, but unfortunately it costs 45. I think right now we're just going to go for the upgrade on this. And we'll go straight for the elite. We're at really good health for an elite. The 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 uh, high amount of reloads isn't great, though. Um, can we guarantee a crit here? We can't. Let's not bother then. Okay. Two bombs there. That's great. You dead as well. Now this is where things are going to be rough for us. 400 damage to deal to this guy. And this guy can encroach on us pretty fast. That was just awful. This might not... This might not be good. <laughs> this might be pretty bad. Oh, especially when that keeps happening. It's bullshit. Stop. Our crits are in really bad spots as well here. Okay, this won't be too bad, actually. Our refreshes are just in terrible spots right now. There you go. We only got hit by him a few times. Um, I don't know. Applies br Bramble 2 on hit. Bramble deals 6 damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. Oh, we go with the, let's go with Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning's always fun. And we'll upgrade it one as well. All orbs have persist plus 1. Um, that means we get to use every orb on our deck two times. I think I'd rather go with the Echo, though. Try and get this other treasure chest here. I'm going to go with the max HP here, just because I think that's a little more valuable. And we get the treasure. Beautiful. This is a really good first area. Collected coins contribute to damage. Um, additional option to choose from. That's fantastic this early on. Good stuff. Good refresh there. Ooh, that, re that refresh has been turned purple. I didn't know that could happen. Or, well, I, d I knew it could happen, but I've never seen it happen visually sort of thing. Hey, also the Thunderstrike targets directly too. I always forget about that. Ah, oh, bad damage there. That's fine. Got the refresh there as well. Lovely. Want to get more bounties going on. We're getting a lot of misses here. Come on, crits. Appear somewhere a little more convenient for us, please. Get that bomb eventually as, as well, please. There's one of the bombs. Good, good. So one more bomb. Actually, two more bombs available to us here.
There you go. We got the crit and the refresh as well. And the actual Thunder Strike itself. This is really nice. It's turning so many of them to bouncy pegs. And we got the crit too. He's got two HP left. Are you kidding me? The echo is really nice with uh, with our dag orb here. Makes it a little more useful. Quick kill on that dude. Inferno orb isn't actually that useful for us because of the self damage. The activates each peg twice is pretty interesting. I think I'm going to go for another ball lightning though. And I think we're going to upgrade that once. And we can go for that to level three. We're at three coins left. Okay, so I really like this. Um... Pegs and bombs become weak magnets and become strong magnets. Effect yeah, that's really nice. All pegs have durable. We've seen that before. It's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good too. I'm going to go with this. I really like the magnet one. The magnet one can be really fun. It used to not have a, like, a, a time limit on it. It used to be obscene. But it, it, got, it got a pretty hefty nerf. But it's still really good. For like eight seconds, your orb is going to be staying in the mix sort of thing. And obviously being attracted to uh, refreshes and stuff is even better. Oh, I always forget Thunder does half damage to these bad boys. I didn't want to use the thunder one there because it would uh, do half damage, whereas this will kill him instantly. We haven't got anything self-damage based. Heal four when fire can only be used once per battle. Upgrade an orb. Let's just go for the upgrade on our lightning. The lightning's super useful right now. We do need piercing at some point. Go for two elites or an elite then a shop. I think I'm going to go for the elite then shop. What do we get here? Remove an orb, remove all orbs. Remove an orb. Thank you. We definitely need to add more orbs to our deck at this point. Just because we don't have any piercing or anything. Good stuff. You see how it attracts to that crit there? It's just constantly trying to get the crit. And eventually it did get it. Beautiful 800 damage there. And this guy's dead as well. Beautiful stuff. Okay, let's see what else we can add to our deck here. I think we want to go for this um, this one, just so we can get some piercing in the deck. And we'll try and get enough money to do something in the shop here. Although, probably shouldn't have spent that 25. This is a really good way to get all the money, to be honest. The lightning orbs do a really good job of that. Actually, we've probably got enough to get uh, at least one item in the shop here, which is really nice. In fact, this, the lightning orbs are like the best way to get money. Holy damn. We've basically got every single coin in this entire level already. There's like three coins left, four coins left, something like that. Beautiful. And then one of you left. Unfortunately not great, but we start off at 73 damage on this guy, so not that bad at all. Oh, and we got the crit as well, you're dead. Toasted and roasted. Ooh, a level three one of these. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip out. I'm gonna say no. Previously thrown bombs can be refreshed. The board will contain two additional refreshes. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Seems very valuable. And we got shop this time. We got eighty-one for the shop. That's a decent amount. We could remove another orb, but I don't think that's really our primary concern right now. Um. None of these items are particularly good, which is unfortunate. 
Why does that cost 45? It's a bit of a shame that I didn't buy the other one now. Um, weak regular damage that cannot be modified. Massive crit damage. Let's go with a Rubob. Double Rubber, I think. The extra bounciness is going to be good. Bob will contain an additional crit. We can go with another refresh or another crit. I'm going to go with the other crit. We've already got two additional refreshes here. Increase your maximum HP by 15. That's pretty good. And then we go this again. I could go for the bombs in the middle of right now. That probably would be a good shout, but... Heal six when reloading. Heal two every time the ball is refreshed. Yes, please. Go for the shop again here. See what items are available for us. I'm going to go with the extra aimer. I think the extra aimer is something that people underrate. It's very, very good. Although it's not as good with the magnet thing. All attacks get one. Collected pennies contribute towards damage. We'll go with that. Why not? We'll see, what that, see how that does. Yeah, so like you can see how the, 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 the bouncer is kind of skewed. It didn't go exactly where it said it would there. So many refreshes on the board now. This is going to make our life a lot easier. And getting additional crits as well. See, like, I aimed directly at that crit and it, the, the aim was pointing at it but didn't actually hit it. So maybe that was a little bit of a worthless pickup, unfortunately. Get all that money. There you go. We got every bit of money on the board this time. Back up to 56. The obelisk is pretty good, but we don't have any stones right now, so it's, it's not that amazing for us. Upgrade that. Onto the wall. It's boss time. Go with lightning first, I think. We're going to need a lot of refreshes with this because this is going to clear out the whole board, but we're going to be hitting bombs like crazy. Not that we'll have bombs for long. Again, get rid of that so we can use the lightnings first. Five hundred damage there, that's beautiful. The bouncy ones are gonna be good because it not only adds bouncy but it adds durable too. That's both of those are pretty fantastic. Seven hundred damage there, okay. This is gonna be good. Hey, you got the crit, five hundred damage. Yeah, this this guy should be dead in no time at all here. Let's hope at least. The bouncy should really help out with moving the orbs, moving the uh, orbs around. The... Hoping we get that refresh to the left, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, mm -mm, we might. No, no, I don't quite. There we go. Hitting the refreshes doesn't always matter, but can lead to quite high damage. There's another 500. Ah, it's just a shame when that happens sometimes, where the lightning clears out such a large area, it kind of screws itself over. There's the crit. There's the refresh. Yeah, so having so many ref refreshes on the board here is amazing. We definitely need more ways to heal at the moment. That's something we're missing. We're trying to get 500 per turn at the minute. We don't need 500, to be honest. 500 would just be nice. 439 is perfectly acceptable. These ones are pretty much guaranteed 500s. Oh, five. Not quite 500, actually. He's pretty much dead now, though. Two more two more solid turns should do it. This ought to be a, a pretty solid one. There you go, yeah. One more good turn will do it. And 
is bound to be a pretty decent one. Oh, not quite enough, not quite enough. There you go, he's dead. Good stuff, good stuff. And we actually got a magnet orb here as well, which I'm going to take and upgrade and upgrade. We've got the double magnets going on. We'll continue onwards. We could go with the explosive force. That's That's been good for us before. Or we could go with the durable. Which I think I'm going to go for. It can be good or it can be bad. You just have to see. Play it by ear. But yeah, I think the these ones now make it just even more durable. There you go. Easy. Get my lightning one going again. And then here, go for chest or go for elite. Offer the dag orb. I think we go for the elite here. Because then we get a shop straight after. Hopefully we can get a few bombs here. Yeah, there you go. Three bombs. No kill there. That's fine. Ah, bugger. With these being durable, this is actually kind of rough. Yeah. With these being durable, this is really rough because we can't get to the um, refreshes so easily. There you go. That was a bit of a waste for that much. Managed to do 300 damage to an enemy with like 6 HP. Almost got him. There you go. He's dead. Ooh, we did get a bold orb. Um, it's big. Only hits enemies on the ground. Attacks pierce all enemies. I'll add that. I realize we want to save some money for our shop here, so we'll try and do that. <laughs> the durable bear worked a lot. 900 and something damage. Hey, we got all the pennies there. Turning everything into bounces as well. God damn, why are all of our refreshes stuck on that one circle? That's very annoying. Luckily we've managed to hit most of them. We got most of the money off that ring as well, actually. We got made our way up to 50, that's good. Okay, I really like the bold orbs. They, they seem to be pretty rare now, though. They used to be fairly common. Now, nowadays is the first one I've seen in a while. We're dealing decent damage to this guy, but not quite enough. Damn it, that's not what I wanted at all. I tried to hit these red bombs, I just can't seem to hit them. There you go. We're going to deal some damage to ourselves, but I'll deal big damage to him. There you go. Oh, we got a jack -a Jack orb lantern, even. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this will return to the top two times, can target any. Pretty cool, but not what we need right now. Uh, I won't do that yet because we've got a shop coming up. Ooh, we got the pie thing again. Orbs start with five pegs worth of damage. Let's go with this again. I really like the pie thing. Good, good. Shop. We got it. And we get an item straight after as well. Good. Um... All attacks get plus one crit.
go with that. Why not? <clears throat> it's not a bad thing. Good. Got the chest. Refresh the board every reload. Battle start with five extra coins. It's not exactly great, but we'll take it. Here, I don't really care, so let's go for the bombs. Damn it, didn't get them. We got the battle. It's fine. Pretty happy with the battle. We can go for another elite here as well. This is one of the stages that you just shoot and hope for the best. There's not, not much really you can do to influence this. And, well, that seemed to work out just fine and dandy, it did. Come on, go right. Why would you go in there? Why would you go all the way left here? Oh, we can still go to the Elite, actually. Go with that. On to the Elite. And we got a shot coming up too, nice. This is a kind of hard fight, this. Everything has to travel upwards. And this guy's quite strong. This guy's going to hit me pretty hard in a second. There you go, 11. Hoping to hit a bit more money there, but that's enough. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Go with that. Straight down. I think the boss is again going to be a really big problem here, but we've tried our best. Don't know what any of these do. I'm going to go straight down, see what happens, see where we end up. We got this. Add it, why not? Stones get... Okay, that wouldn't have been good anyways. Pegs start with extra bombs. That's good. Board, board starts with extra bombs even, not pegs do. Stupid ass. Oh, yes. I love the pie thing. It's so good. Especially this one with it being in the middle. It's going to be a little bit overkill. 3,000 damage for an enemy with 400 HP, but hey her. And again, slight overkill. That's just how it goes. Again, with this, we just spam out fire. It's gone center again. Not ah, like I say, it's not always going to land center. We don't need it to, but it would have been fun. And you're dead as well. Easy battle there. Easy battle. Okay, we've got everything upgraded now. And I think after this we just heal. These are the guys that can bomb us, so we've got to be a little careful for them, but... I'm gonna say that we're probably gonna die pretty quick. Unfortunately, there is red bombs available too. We don't actually like seeing too much. Don't hit any more red bombs, please. Ah, bugger. Wasted HP. I don't know if there's so many more enemies left. Damn. But there you go. And we can heal up there. Mostly the full way. And... We could go for the this. I don't know if it's worth it. Let's, let's do it. Let's just add it. Why not? Right. On to the boss again. We've got more HP than last time, but I still think this is going to be a real struggle. This is a very hard boss. Especially when the game keeps throwing out orbs down like that.
Durable on this fight isn't particularly good. And my orb got stuck and did nothing, which is fantastic. Okay, this is good. We got it stuck in the center. You want it to get stuck, but not, like, stuck still. If it gets stuck still, it stops doing anything. One piece is dead. Holy shit, this is a lot of damage. Holy shit, this is a lot of damage. That was like 11,000 damage there. This could be a, this could be a win. That's her. Look at this, just, just stop getting stuck. She you dead as well. Okay, this is looking real good for us. I think the Echo Orb is really what's carrying us right now. Like the Echo item. And there you go, there's our first win. Crucible level 5 has been unlocked. Let's continue, we can go and have a little look what the next Crucible level has in store for us. Pegboard starts with one less refresh. Ooh, that's rough. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.